Hey guys, uh, current energies check ins. Um, so last time we left it at Juno got, well, she had something in her eye. I didn't know what. I took her to the vet. One of the boys, I assume, scratched her, unless she scratched herself, which that could be a possibility, but I don't know. Um, so I don't know, maybe when they played or something, because um, this one here. The noiser, the noiser one, the one that makes noise. It's very hyper at times. Felix is doing his own thing, Juno is doing her own thing. They're both very gentle, very, and this one comes back. Yeah, you, yeah. Um, to the point where I had to kick him out of the room last night and keep the girl with me. Because uh, she still has, well, they told me she has to wear a cone, and as most of you saw already, because she was passing by, she doesn't have a cone, she has a toast. Because um, um, yeah, she's having trouble with the cone, she's got like a smaller little face, and she's having trouble drinking water, so we came up with, okay, let's look for something else, and we found a toast in a orange slice, I think, but she didn't try that one, she likes the toast. Uh, so she's the toast when she needs that. So um, she's good. She's going to get the toast off uh, Sunday, I think. If everything's fine. Even though she hates drops and I hate forcing her to sit while I pour drops in her eye. Uh, but it is what it is. So she's uh, she's been doing good. Um, this one, though. This one is my nemesis, I swear to God. He's, he's just a different type of cat. He's not a cat, my friends say he's not a cat. And I tend to believe them. He is a cat, but he's not a cat. Uh, he's uh, unique, what can I say? Um, you'll probably get to see him because he's unsettled. Oscar's sleeping, Juno is toasting somewhere, I don't know. Uh, other than that, not much. May is gone. I can't say anything about June yet because it just started. So, um, yeah. Dreams, I don't remember much because I know you like, some of you like when I talk about my dreams. I don't remember much lately, to be honest with you. Uh, the few that I do remember... Oh, I went over them and um, man, I remembered yesterday's nap. I have very crazy sleeping hours. Very late naps and then very late sleeping times and then waking up very early. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, anyways, um, everything's okay though. As long as everything's fine, who cares when I sleep, if I get to sleep, right? Um, do, do not splash the one. Why? Why? Kai. Kai, I see you. Kai. He's taking the water out the ball. You probably can hear him. Kai. My God, he made a little bit of a pond. But because why? As I was saying, this guy, <clears throat> something else. Why? So he put his paw in the water, he took out half the ball, and now he's doing all of this, and then he licks himself, and then he's done. Where are you going? Anyways, yeah, interesting, interesting situation we got going on here uh let's get going because i don't have much to say no just you know i could talk about kai's things all day long things he's doing things he's been doing but uh i'm not you're you're i mean you're kind of witnessing it kind of ish 
Anyways, uh, current energy check-ins for the weekend. Um, I'll be looking into each of you individually by elements, earth signs, fire signs, air signs, and water signs. It will be quick, to the point, no clarification, whatever comes out, comes out. Um, no extended for the Friday videos either. I'll be looking into where you're at energetically in regards to another energy, which could be that of a person or another situation you're dealing with. Lately, a lot of people have commented, like, I feel like this is still me, like it's part of my energy. And it could be, it could very well be because your energy changes you know, from one minute to another. So whatever energy you're dealing with could be yours. I don't know. Um, where the other energy is at, um, in regards to you and then where the connected energies are at, and then I'll be pulling some cards from the universe. Um, timestamps will be below in the description box, in the comment section, on the play bar thing. I've got flies all over. So if you see cats jumping, it's not, I don't know where these flies came from. I hear they hide in the walls in the winter and then they come out. Woody's here. Hey, Woody. What's up? He's looking straight at me. Hold on. I, I have a moment here. I'm having a moment. I like how, you know, some, some people say, oh, you're distracted by animals, by all sorts of things. So this is not serious tarot. I'm like, okay. <laughs> What's serious tarot? <laughs> like, Let's be serious. Let's read cards, okay? This is someone's life we're dealing with, goddammit. Chill. Get distracted by the moment. That's the point. Um. Anyways, Woody left. See? See what you made me do? Um, I think that's about it. Roles can be reversed. So whenever you, I'm talking about you as the first row, it could be that it's the other energy and vice versa. Um, I think that's it. And again, if you see cats flying, they're flying after flies, hopefully. Yeah, there's Kai. So if you hear even stuff going on, that's Kai chasing fly. Kai chasing fly, yeah. Um, let's get going. Earth signs, Capricorn. Gappy, gappy, let's give it a good start, okay, for everyone else here in the spotlight. Cappy, if you're starting off on the wrong foot here, we're all screwed. Let's see. On your side, you get the moon, the king of wands, the hermit. There's a whole lot of healing on your side. And it has to do with, I don't know what you're doing exactly in your practical life, in your 3D life. But whatever it is you're engaging in, whatever it is you're doing, it's boosting up your confidence. And there's a whole lot of healing tied up to that where I see you showing up a lot more confident, a lot more. Hmm, I got this. A good start, Cappy. So there's a whole lot of healing behind that. Uh, the energy tied up to you, the Seven of Cups, the Two of Wands, the King of Swords. I feel like whatever this is has been waiting for you for a very long time. Um, it seems quite in the knowing of, oh, you know, kind of like when you show up, it's like, oh, it's Cappy. Of course it is. Uh, but again, it's an energy that has been there in the background kind of waiting and waiting and waiting so i don't know if this is a person even it could be something you're dealing with but it could be a person i don't know uh the connected energies the nine of swords the queen of pentacles the eight of swords why are you stressing out so much you are growing in the sense of confidence and that to me kind of shows me a path towards self-love, self-care. I feel like you want to do more in that regards, in, in the direction of you, 
but it feels like you're stressing so much about it. Like, oh, how do I do it? I want to do more. Blah, 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 blah. Chill. <laughs> it's happening. I don't feel like you're fully aware that it's happening, but it's actually happening. So whatever it is that you're doing towards this, don't stress out about it. You'll be fine. You know, you are giving yourself plenty of energy here at a deeper level that might not be consciously recognizable at this point um but it's happening so trust that it's happening kai salvation is that he looks all you know like lionish tigerish kind of he looks like he's gonna rip it to pieces and then he falls off the freaking edge of the window because he's chasing a fly he's like Bloop. um so that's his um, salvation. He looks all fierce and and then he's actually a little bit of a clown, uh, which is quite funny. He was beating up the vacuum this morning. Let's see what the universe has for you. Other way. Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. You're on your way to build something stable for yourself. So I don't know, this could be more tied up to a, a particular job you're interested in or maybe in. Uh, but the energies are shifting towards something better here, whatever this is. So you're on your way towards not stressing out so much about things, not putting things in that place of, oh my God, everything's got to be difficult. Everything's got to be hard. Everything's got to be painful. Not really. And even if it is, you're seeing the bigger picture of things that it leads you onto that place of stability for yourself. So I don't know what it is that you're doing, but you're growing here. Uh, so keep on doing it. That's it, Kathy. Moving on to Taurus. Forgot to get their treats to bring them all in here at the end of this. I'll bring them next week because uh, Juno's toast is going to take up a little bit of too much space. Um, let's see, Taurus. All right, on your side, you get the Ace of Swords, the Sun, the Knight of Swords. You're going for it. I don't know what it is, but you're going for it. Um, there's a sense of happiness here that you're pursuing. And I feel like you have stepped into this energy of, yeah, I'm going to go get it. You know, your energy is that at least. I don't know if you're going to stop yourself or not. For now, it seems like it's full on. Um, the energy attached to you, the Eight of Pentacles, the Star, the Seven of Wands. Someone wants to create something, someone wants to build something here with you. There's a little bit of rejection on their side, though. There's a little bit of, eh, I don't know, I don't know. So, I don't know. In the connected energies, the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. What the hell is going on here? There are things still kind of floating around here. There are things from the past, things that have no closure, things that have been left up in the air, and they're painful things. You know, there's regrets, there's all sorts of disappointments, there's all sorts of things that are still kind of circling around here. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see what the universe has. Six of Wands, Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Right. There's a sense of stability that you have gained. Uh, I feel like there's more beyond that where it's looking like you could do so much more and you know that. But for now, it's looking like, you know what? I've gained my balance. I've gained my groundness in all of this. I kind of got it 
figured out for now. Uh, which feels good. It feels like that's why you're probably in this place of action, you know, because you're coming from a very secure place within yourself. I feel like this is you more than anything. Um, it's a matter of grabbing that bull by the horns and just, you know, take an action towards whatever it is you want to achieve. Because I do feel like whatever is shown up here is tied up to happiness. So that's it. Oh, I'm gonna go set up the planters today for them flowers. Virgo. I think. I'm still debating. I was very determined when I woke up. So we'll see. Uh, let's see. All right, um, on your side, you get the two of swords, the five of cups, the nine of cups. I feel like somewhat you're, you've landed into a place of balance within yourself, even though in the background there, there's this chatter, this noise. Um, and I feel like it's your mind because you're still kind of going through things from your past that haven't been healed, haven't been taken care of here. So they're over there somewhere. But what's taken over is this energy of let's keep calm, let's take it one day at a time, we can't fix the whole world in one day, let's, you know, let's, let's keep it going like this. So this is the energy that's taken over while in the background it's like, but I got a lot of shit to take care of still, you know? Uh, and I do feel like it's mostly tied up to a situation, but I see it more as different things from different areas of your life there. So it's kind of like healing certain things uh that may still affect you um the energy attached to you the ten of swords the ace of wands the six of swords what that's where i paused when i pulled the cards i'm like what is this they're not in the best place i would say they're um hmm, they're in an energy that is similar to them feeling defeated? Similar. It's not that though. It's, oh man, they feel like they're drained almost and they want to come towards you. They want to give energy towards you, but then they're like, eh, I don't know if I can. Oh, I may postpone this. I may do it some other time. It's not because they don't want to, because the desire is definitely here, but there's something hanging up on them. They're the, the Ten of Swords there is kind of, I don't know what the hell they're dealing with, but it seems like it's draining them almost. So for the connection, the justice card, the lovers, the queen of swords, I feel like things are balanced here, as balanced as they can be, considering whatever's happening here. You dealing with the bigger picture of things, them being a little depleted here. There's definitely a sense of something happening individually for the two of you. And then in the, in the, connection it seems like things are kind of steady you know um or at least the effort is being put to to keep things steady for the connection on both sides i feel like let's um oh let's see what the universe has Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups. Yeah, it's like... You know those bumps in the road? I feel like you're in the middle of crossing one of those bumps. You and them. 
Um, cause there, there's healing going on and there's a little bit of overthinking over how do we get out of this funk, you know, kind of a thing. So it, it kind of feels like the energies are stuck a little bit, but they're not really. It's a matter of the both of you kind of engaging into let's, let's move these energies along, you know? Um, cause for now it seems like on both sides, they're a little bit stuck, but that's it. And that is it. Virgo. Ow, ow, ow. Nose itch. Nose itch. It's going down here. But it's already here. Man, it sucks when you have your hands busy. And you have a nose itch. Let's see. Moving on to... Oh, fire signs. Aries. I forgot. I was used to, I was so used to earth energy. I'm like, ah, oh. and then, ooh, okay. Fire signs are in the house. Let's see fires. Fires. Ooh. Ooh, heavy energy, Aries. Uh, on your side, the two of pentacles, the nine of wands, the ten of wands. Ooh, and it's getting heavier. Uh, you're in a place of indecision here. You're in a place of, I don't know, of up in the air. And the more you sit in this place with this energy of... Ooh, where it feels like almost like you're stuck there, but you're not... Um, the heavier the energies get, the heavier it's going to start to feel. It's like, oh man, this sucks, you know? And then, you know, the more you sit in there, it's like, oh man, this sucks even more. Uh, so I don't know. You kind of have to make up your mind here in terms of possibly choosing something. I don't know what it is. You're at a crossroads by the looks of it. But again, the more you sit there, the harder it's going to get. The energy attached to you, the Three of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Five of Cups. Well, they have expectations. They're kind of waiting possibly for you to show up, you know, to make that choice, to go towards them and to whatever. Um, they're not... Mm, they're in expectation here. Because I do see an energy of what about dealing, you know, and healing certain things you're dealing with. And they're like, no, I'll just wait for Aries. If Aries shows up, it'll take care of everything. You know, which, no, it's not. Uh, so I don't know. The uh, connected energies, the Ten of Swords, the Magician, the Four of Pentacles. For right now, someone's manifesting the ending of this. In all honesty, I kind of get a sense that it's you. Um, the ending of this in the way that it shows up, at least, you know, like, let's change the energies a little bit. Let's, at least for you, in this place of, I don't know what to do with this, you kind of want it all gone. You're, you're kind of fed up with it. You're like, I'm tired of not knowing, of, you know. Um, and this manifesta bleh, manifestation looks um, pretty there's an energy of stubbornness tied up to it. Like, okay, I, I really gotta get this done already. Um, let's see what the universe has. Man, it's very noisy out here in the summer. Everybody's doing something. Well, I'm doing something today, but it's not noisy. I think not, I don't know. I may be noisy putting flower pots together, I don't know. Um, from the universe, you get the moon, the seven of cups, the seven of wands. It's a matter of moving on, just like who had this? Virgo? I think Virgo had it. Where the energies need to be moved away from here. Because I feel like you're feeling stuck in this indecision. And the more you stay in there, it's not going to help the situation. But I, I do sense a lot of resistance on your side, you know, on making a decision. Because the, the obvious decision that all of the other energies are pointing towards is get it over and done with and you don't want to 
because you don't want to because you translated and I don't want to lose this relationship or whatever's going on. It's not about the relationship. It's about the freaking energy that needs to shift from here, from this place. And you're like, no. Okay. Well, then maybe this place right here feels good to you, which I doubt. You're not ending the relationship, even though that's what may need to be done for now for the energies to shift, and then you'll deal with it from another place. That's all there is to it. Um, let it go. Let this energy go. I feel like it wants to come out, and you're like, no. Okay. Moving on to Leo. What's up, Leo? What's going on here? On your side, you get the Page of Swords, the Death card, the Three of Swords. There's an ending process attached to you, and I feel like it's been attached to you for a while. And it's like, you're in a place of, I don't really want to do anything. I'm not in the mood for anything. I'm just kind of experiencing this, and it sucks. And I feel like, for now, you're, I mean... You're not okay. You're okay in it in terms of allowing this pain to come through and maybe, you know, heal it over time. Uh, but if this continues where I don't see much action on your side, uh, this pain might take over. This death process might take over. I don't know what kind of death process this is. You could be dealing with a loss. You could be dealing with your own death process. You know, you could be shifting towards something else, towards a different Leo. Uh, I don't know but it seems painful and it seems to be here and you seem to be aware of it but not doing much about it for now you know so the energy attached to you the five of wands the ba -ba -ba, four of wands the king of cups i don't know who this is they have a lot of love there is a commitment kind of an energy attached to you from them but there is also a little bit of conflict a little bit of i don't know something not matching in energies at this point and it kind of makes sense because they they are in this place of love and you're in a place of quite the opposite you know so the energies don't really match there but they're still here they're still from they're still showing up from that place of love for the connection the moon the eight of swords the judgment card leo you're dealing with some deep shit um, there is a shadow aspect here that I feel like is trying to come in for you to heal, for you to look at, for you to go in there, dive all in, and you're overthinking it. Either you're overthinking it or you're trying your best to escape it and you keep yourself busy up here. Uh, but it's, it's definitely something very transformative for you at this point. Whether you try to escape it and make it harder for you or kind of let it come in and then dive right into it you know that's your choice in the end but i kind of see it trying to with the page of swords and then the eight of swords kind of trying to avoid what's calling to you and what's calling to you it's your own shadow there's something there let's see what the universe has <laughs> really universe i know okay so this could be a loss uh, that you've been working on for a very long time. Um, the death card, the five of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, and you're still kind of working on it. I don't feel like it's the loss. I feel like the loss is bringing something up for you, um, something deeper. So it's, it's like you've dealt with the loss of something, all great in that department, but it's coming back for you to go in a little deeper and to bring out something else, which I don't know what it is, but it sucks. <clears throat> so that's it.
Moving on to Sagittarius. the loss too uh and it's kind of a difficult one uh five of pentacles ten of wands the death card yeah something ended for you and i feel like you're kind of in the middle of dealing with this whatever it is that ended um it seems to be a difficult process for you to accept the loss to go through the loss and to to just kind of embrace it at some point and be like okay what's done it's done um okay that's us for the energy attached to you the fool the page of wands the nine of swords they are not dealing with any kind of loss because they're still open towards trying here but they're stressed out about it like how do i do it how do i break that wall of loss um i don't know i don't know how you do uh, for the connection, the Knight of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Someone is expecting here for things to come back around, and I don't know if it's you, to be honest. With the energies that are showing up on their side, I kind of suspect like it's them. Um, could be you as well, but I don't see it here because you're overwhelmed by the energy of losing this situation, which I don't even know if it's lost or not. I've it could even be the fear of losing it that's taking you over, basically. So, I don't know. Um, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, the Judgment card. I feel like you made your decision here about moving on from this so it's like as soon as i get this done you know experiencing this and dealing with this i'm ready to move on kind of a thing that's the energy that's shown up tied up to you mostly here um it's gonna be a tough one it's gonna be a process so however long it takes just give yourself that i i do see your determination behind that to leave it all behind when the time comes so it's like no no i'm 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 ready to move on kind of a thing when i'm ready you know um yeah hmm. this sucks this is a painful situation right here but that's it Moving on to air signs, Libra. On your side, you get the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Ace of Wands. Man, this is good energy. Uh, I feel like you may be involved currently in building something up. There's definitely an energy tied up to your stability. Um, and there's a whole lot of courage, a whole lot of knowledge behind it, and a whole lot of participation on your side. Kind of like, this is what I want to do right now, and this is what you are doing. So I don't know what this is. It, it seems to hit close to home again. It seems to be creating some sort of stable environment, you know, on the long run. Um, but there's definitely good energy here, or good intentions at least, um, behind your actions towards this. In the energy attached to you, the Justice card, the Sun, the King of Pentacles. Ooh, 
they're meeting you halfway. They definitely want to create happiness here. It's like you've got a set of tools, they got another set of tools, you put those together, it brings out everything in a perfect flow. Um, I don't know who this is, but they're definitely working with you, meeting you halfway there in this energy, and they're bringing in a whole lot of happiness. Um, through this for the connection the queen of pentacles the high priestess the three of wands um it looks like it's building up but it's gonna take a while you know for the results to be seen and i feel like you know that um there's definitely a sense of yeah i kind of don't like waiting but i know i have to so it's 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 mostly acceptance over the patience part um it's a good energy here it's like okay you know we'll take it one day at a time and when we get there we get there kind of a thing nice let's see what the universe has and now the universe the death card blah, 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 blah. no universe you're not allowed please it's too good of a reading don't give me those Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, the Judgment, the Chariot. Um, it's because you've stepped into this place of self-love. It's um, it's coming up like this. So whoever it is that you're attached to, I kind of get the sense that they're in the same energy of self-love. And then you put those together and it's like, it's an exchange of energy that's, that's kind of coming in beautifully together. Um, I don't know. I feel like the universe kind of pushed you in this place of self-love. And I feel like it wasn't this pretty all the time. You know, uh, it may have been quite nasty for a little bit until it got, okay, look, the light at the end of the tunnel is here. Oh, and it's the sun. Oh, that's the happiest card in tarot. Oh, oh, you know, <laughs> kind of looks like that a little bit. So I don't know, this is a good reading. Um, I really hope you're feeling these energies right here because they're really, really nice. But that said, the Libra. Moving on to Aquarius. Okay, on your side, do, 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 do. you get the Five of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Swords. There's some misunderstanding, some conflict you've got going on with someone. Uh, I don't necessarily see it as being romantic. It could be a partnership, a friendship, I don't know, something tied up to you. And there's a little bit of mm, something's off, you know, in it. I don't know what, but it's creating a... a not a pleasant energy for you. You know, there's some pain attached to it. There's some... Uh. Um, <clears throat> that's over on your side. On their side, the Queen of Cups, the Sun, the Five of Swords. Meh. Mm. They're coming in with this beautiful energy. The, the energy is beautiful. As if... You know, peace, love, and let's hug trees and we'll take care of all the problems if we do that. Eh, not really. Something's hurting you here. It's like they're not even acknowledging it. It's like, uh, I'll, I'll shed some light onto you and you'll be fine. Because mm. it's coming in as being deceptive, this energy. You know, I love this energy. When it shows up like that, I'm like, yay. But not with the five of swords there. I'm like, what, what, what? What you doing? Where is you acknowledging Aquarius with whatever it is they're experiencing? You know, let's call a spade a spade here. Let's not cover it in sun and pretend it's not there because it's, you know, as much sun as you want to put on top of it, it's still going to come out at some point. You know, the sun goes down at night. You can see stuff that are there in the dark. So, I don't know. I mean, again, the intention is good, definitely. 
but a little more acknowledgement towards your pain here or your struggle in this would be um, more matching to the situation to you uh, for the connection the nine of cups the justice card the nine of pentacles it almost feels like you gotta find that balance for yourself through this you know um, again not to say that their energy isn't great what they're bringing in their lack of acknowledgement that's something they might have to work on you know towards what you're experiencing but whatever it is you're experiencing it's kind of like your lesson to learn you have to learn from your own pain here so expecting for them to show up you know acknowledging this yeah, okay first you acknowledge it and then maybe they will too um it's like each of you have stuff to work on here separately but overall this could be taken care of if you work on your stuff and why you're in this place of pain over this and of conflict and of eh, i don't like whatever uh and then in this place of let's pretend it's not even there you know find the middle ground there's always that middle ground that would balance things out here you know it would help out definitely but it's more of an individual kind of a journey here uh in this so oh look who's coming i see you i see you let me see what the universe has felix felix hey Hello, I'm working. No. Oh, he's gonna jump. Are you gonna jump? Are you gonna jump? I know the table is further. You gotta do the math. Okay. Uh, Ten of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, King of Wands. Um, I feel like things are doable for fixing. <laughs> Is that even right? Um, there's a whole lot of happiness that can be achieved here as long as we don't expect the other person to, you know. Yes, it's my concern that, you know, maybe they should acknowledge more, but that has to come from them. Not from you, not from me. You know, um, you have to work on your situation whatever you're experiencing within this and they have to work on their side of things and overall i kind of get a sense that things can build up into something beautiful here you know as long as there's that self-acknowledgement and working on things individually and then together it could create as i said they're bringing in beautiful energy and i feel like you have that beyond this struggle you're going through right now so things can work out it's a matter of not expecting from the other person certain things that maybe you should do for yourself first. So, and that's it. Oop. Moving on to Gemini. off baby boy huh where did you go he's back he's back in the house did something here but I don't know if it's a bite or I hit my hand I don't know. I don't know what that is but it's painful uh anyways on your side you get the two of cups the hangman the ace of wands you want to go do something here you want to take some action you want to bring something together in a beautiful way in love um, but I don't feel like you are doing it. You just wanna. 
the energy attached to you, the Fool, the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Swords, they want it too. And with the energies on their side, they're more prone to doing it than you are, you know, to take some action here. There's there's definitely a sense of let's bring my energy and your energy together. For what? I don't know. On your side, it's showing up like love. On their side, it's showing up like stability. Like, hey, we can work on things here. Not to say that there's no love here and that there's no sense of stability on your side. Because um, the goal seems kind of... It does seem like an energy that wants to meet halfway to work on something and you're bringing in the love aspect and they're bringing in the stability aspect. So I don't know what this is. For the connection, the justice card, the four of wands, the knight of wands. Yeah, it's just a matter of things moving at this point. Because I feel like there's a commitment coming into shape here between two people and commitment could be anything. It doesn't have to be only romantic. Um... So it's just a matter of who's going to make the first step. And it's kind of falling more on their side because they're more, as I said, more prone to it um, with the available energies here. So let's see what the universe has. What's up, baby boy? My God, he's huge. He is huge. Kai, when are you going to catch up to your older brother? Three years from now? Let's see. Knight of Wands, Page of Swords, Page of Wands. Pages, pages, pages. That doesn't really get things done. Because there is this knight energy. This, oof. Let me go get it. I know I can do this. And, you know, so somebody already has that on their side. But the response they're getting is, Hey, I'll come do it too. Just like you. Give me 10 years to get, a, you know, to build up that confidence. And I'll, I'll, I'll meet you halfway. You know, very shy, very... It's still... So it's not necessarily happening right away with the energies on one side and on the other being a little bit different. But it's happening. It's still kind of, you know, give me, give me, give me five minutes, years. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it seems okay. It seems like the energies are not aligned to happen right away. For the situation to happen right away. But... Um, it's due, basically. Because I feel like the pages are on your side with this hangman, but... Yeah, so... That's it. Moving on to water signs, Pisces. Alex, I have a fly right here. Go, go. You do not play this game. I will catch you just like I did last year. Catch and release. We're gonna play that game, but do not bother me while I'm working. Enough buzzing in my head without you. So, let's see, Pisces. All right, on your side, you get the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Four of Cups. Something wasn't working out right here. Something... I feel like you're in the energy of this thing is just so disappointing. It's just not working out in the way that it should. There's definitely a, a desire of equal give and take here on your part, but that's not it. Whatever it is you're dealing with doesn't have that. So it seems like you're coming to the table with an energy of an ending towards it because it's like it doesn't fit with what I want, with what I'm looking for. And it's very disappointing by the looks of it. Um, for the energy attached to you, the Ace of Swords, the Lovers, the Seven of Cups. They have an energy of moving on, you know, finding the next best thing. Finding that, that, that is meant for them. Somewhere else, possibly. They definitely have... I don't get this energy because as they're coming towards you, they have that energy. Oh, let me walk away. Oh, I, what? You know, so the, it's like it's in their blood to just move on to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, until they find 
who knows what, because I don't feel like they know what they're looking for. Um, but I do get a sense of that what they're looking for is this, you, because they are giving energy to you as they're saying, I'm moving on. I don't feel like they know. I feel like they need to figure out what it is that they want, because I feel like that's where they're kind of mixed up here. For the connection, the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Swords. As painful as it is, I feel like you're kind of heading in the direction of on your own here. So you might be ending this situation because there is no... You don't know what they want because they don't know what they want. So dealing with this kind of an energy, of, of course it's not going to be falling into that place of equal give and take. So I kind of get the sense that you're leaving a situation here slowly but surely heading into a place of on your own and it, it's a painful transition but um you're kind of in it let's see what the universe has the page of wands the tower of the moon for now you look like you're scared you know to go with what you feel to because i feel like there is a little bit of sense of impulsivity like at times you may be thinking to yourself what the hell am i doing i'm out of here but you're not really going along with that um because you're scared you're scared that if you do make that move who the hell knows what's going to happen you know the end of the world is going to come which no that's not true but that's your own fear and your own way of pulling yourself back from the action that you want to take. So, I don't know. That's it. Moving on to Scorpio. On your side, you get the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the... Uh, no, the Five of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. Same thing. Um, okay, so you dealing with the loss of something? I feel like you're gaining some terrain here in your um, healing over a loss. There's definitely a sense of, oh, I've healed that, or I've healed that. A sense of recognition over parts of this process that you have healed. You know, so in the midst of all of the loss process, I see you kind of um, being happy about it. Kind of like, oh, okay, you know, I'm, I'm, I've done a lot. I've healed a lot. I'm still healing. But these are the points where I've healed and I can see it, you know. So it's quite good in terms of the recognition of this. The energy that you're dealing with, not that good. But um the energy attached to you, the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles. They're not... I kind of get a sense that they're still around somewhat. They're still giving some energy, but not with the intention to build something. So if they're giving any kind of energy, they don't have that bigger picture of, I want to do something with you, you know, for the long term. Not necessarily, and not at this point. Maybe they're focused someplace else, or maybe... It's a just in the moment kind of an energy where they're not showing me continuity to it. I don't know. But there's definitely a sense of uh, detaching emotionally for now. Um, the connection, the page of wands, the magician, the emperor. Okay. It's like you want to manifest uh, some sort of a more of a giddy up pace, more of a, I need for things to move, I need to, and there's also a sense of having fun with it all, kind of like, I, I, I'm almost like you're manifesting joy through doing, you know, there's a sense of you wanting to be engaged in more things, possibly, that you're manifesting here, um, 
with the intention of let me have fun with it you know so i don't know what the hell this is but it's a good manifestation and i feel like it might help you in this process because it's i mean you're surrounded here by two energies that are not playful at all and it's like when you deal too much with that it's like i need the opposite of this for a split second you know so i can understand your manifestation here um let's see what the universe has The Justice card, the Ten of Swords, the Death card. Things are starting to look a little better, to feel a little better. You're still dealing with this loss situation, whatever this is. You're still kind of in there. Um, but things are starting to look and feel a little more balanced for you. You know, it's like a little better by the day kind of a thing. So that's good. But that's it. And that's what I got. Scorpio. Moving on to Cancer. Cancer. What is with this energy of death, closures, endings, all sorts of things? I mean, summer's coming, so spring is ending. So there is, I don't know. Um, on your side, the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Page of Cups, you do not want to accept an ending to a situation. You're like, nope, not happening. Nope. Mm -mm. It's here, though. Whether you accept it or not, it's still here. And not accepting it is going to make things a little harder for you on the long run. Uh, but for now, you're showing up as, you know what, I'll just put out love, I'll just put out good energy in there and maybe this won't happen even though i feel like it already is here this energy of an ending but really not embracing it not accepting it uh which for now it doesn't feel painful for now it might get painful at some point if you keep on rejecting it if it's here this energy of this ending uh, the energy attached to you, the Knight of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. There are some changes in energies here like crazy. There's an in and out kind of an energy. There's a today I show up and then I'm gone and I don't know when I'll be coming back. But I will, you know. So... For the connected energies, the Six of Swords, the Lovers, the Knight of Cups. While one is kind of walking away, the other one keeps on giving to the situation. It does seem like it's an important connection here. And I, I mean, the connection kind of translates your energies exactly where one keeps on abandoning this connection and themselves. And one keeps on giving to this. But there's no flow in energies. There's no equal give and take there, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know what you're getting out of this. Possibly exhaustion at some point. I don't know. Not now, but at some point. Um, let's see what the universe has. World card, the Empress, the Eight of Cups. Interesting. It almost feels like it's time for roles to be reversed here. Uh, where you have given to this and you keep on giving. But I feel like you're pulling away your emotions or you're getting close to that point of I'm not giving anymore. Love. But you're still here. But you're not pouring out the love there. And for some reason, I'm kind of seeing all of this as role reversal, where as soon as you stop that, but it's got to be natural. It's it's not, oh, Ali said I should stop, so I'm going to stop so that they can't come back in. It doesn't work like that. 
it's a matter of how the energies are coming into play and as soon as your flow of love is stopping then it comes from the other way basically um to me it kind of feels like a flip in roles but again it's happening naturally for now i still see you pouring out love in there but the universe is showing me it's it's almost time that the love is being pulled back is being pulled away and that's when i see the other energy coming back around so i don't know weird but that's it that's what i have for you man this has been fun let's do it again next friday uh I can't, I don't have, I have Oscar here, he's sleeping, I have Kai's feet over there, he's definitely sleeping-ish, I have Felix there, he's not sleeping, and Juno is probably on the table waiting for food, uh, which that's gonna happen a lot later, but she likes to sleep there just in case. Um, so that's it, that's what I have for you guys, I'll go outside and make some noise too with the flowers, well the flower pots, the flowers are not here yet. Um, the noise stopped. I'm not gonna make noise. Anyways, uh, see you guys next time. Bye.